Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will make Ajax based auto complete text box with image, and custom HTML by using jQuery UI plugin with PHP. We all know jQuery UI auto complete plugin, provides an instant way to add auto complete suggestion, feature to the text box. By using autocomplete text box, user can quickly search, and select search result from a pre-populated search result. There are many video on autocomplete text box, we have published on our website, but we have not used jQuery UI plugin for make autocomplete text box. So, here we have published this video tutorial, in which we have used jQuery UI plugin, for make autocomplete text box with PHP script using Ajax technology. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database, in this we have on student table, we have already insert some student data in it. We will use this data, for make autocomplete text box, by using jQuery UI plugin with Ajax and PHP. This is our working folder, in this we have one images folder, in which we have store student image, we will display image from this folder, here we have index.php and fetch.php file. This is index.php file, in which we have already included jQuery, jQuery UI library and bootstrap library link. Now we have go to HTML code, and here we have write input type is equal to text, id is equal to search data, here user start write text, then pre-populated search result will be display below text box. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write dollar with text box id search data, with auto complete method, it will initialize jQuery UI autocomplete plugin. Under this method, we have first write source option, and here we have write fetch.php file, this option will send Ajax request to fetch.php file. In second option, we have write minimum length, and here we have write 1, if user start write, then after one character it will send Ajax request. After this, we have write select callback function, with event, and UI as argument, this function will be called, if user has select any search result. Under this function, we have write dollar with text box ID search data, with value method, under this we have write ui.item.value, it will display selected student name under text box. Now we have add data attribute in autocomplete method, and under this we have write ui autocomplete value. After this we have, write dot underscore render item is equal to function, with all and item object, this function will display autocomplete search data in list format. Under this function, we have write return statement, with dollar with open and close bracket, and between this we have write list tag, with class is equal to UI autocomplete row. Here we have add method, with two argument, in first argument we have write item dot auto complete, and in second argument we have write item argument. 
After this, we have add append method, and under this we have write item dot label, it will append HTML code under this list tag. Lastly, we want to append list tag HTML code into all tag, so here we have write dot append to method, and under this we have write all tag. So here our jQuery code is ready. Now we have moved to write PHP code, so we have go to fetch.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function with dollar get term variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar connect variable is equal to nuke to class. With three argument like, mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root and password set to blank. Below this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from student table, where student name like percentage dollar get term variable, order by student name in ascending order. This query will search data in student table, based on value of dollar get term variable. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution and for query execution we have write dollar statement variable with execute method after this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method this method will return query execution result below this we have write dollar output variable is equal to array under this we will store student data now we have write for each loop with condition like dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar temporary variable is equal to array. Under this variable, we will store temporary student data. Now we have write dollar temporary array value variable is equal to dollar row student name variable. So in this variable we have store student name data. Same way, we have write dollar temporary array label variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to images folder name slash dollar row image name variable. It will display particular student image and with image we want to student name also so here also we have write dollar row student name variable now we want to student temporary variable data in dollar output variable so here we have write dollar output variable is equal to dollar temporary variable lastly we want to send data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method with dollar output variable. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends here, we can see when page has been load into browser. Then on web page we can one text box has been seen on web page, for search student data. Now we want to search particular student data, so here start write John, when we have start J and then after below text box, we can see student data, 
in which J character has come. Here in list, we can see student name, with that student image, here when we have start write in text box, then it has sent Ajax request to MYSQL data, to fetch data from student table. And get data from student table, and display data as list below text box, with student image and name, so this way we can build pre-populate autocomplete text box by using jQuery UI plugin with PHP script using Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.